I believe we're good to go. Okay. Well, that was definitely fun. Uh, oh, there we go. You can see there, that's the rebels. They've already taken over those two points. So I'm going to go here, here. Yes, I'm going to do that. I know somewhere there's a button I can... Is there, oh, a rebel fighter. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small re refueling outpost. The weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. Does that mean that as soon as I start attacking them, which I will, they'll already be charged and shooting me? Because that's not fair. The rebel responds to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. They move in to engage. Sounds fun. Okay, let us... Wait, we've got two extra... Okay, I need to put that on there. Let's get rid of their weapons, obviously. And Artemis their shield, maybe? Well, let's Artemis that, so maybe they don't have enough time to actually... Because I believe when you get rid of their O2 inside there, they'll all run to the O2 to go fix it. Alright, Artemis shoots. Eek. Okay. Let's... Let's do that. Okay. Oh, there we go. I've taken down quite a lot of their stuff so far. I won't use the Artemis again. I am going to take out their O2. I want to keep that down so they don't have time to fix those. But... There we go. The ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. So we've got two fuel, two missiles and 20 scrap. That's good. The outpost hails you. The pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for your help. They defeated the Federation. I'm the Federation. They did not defeat me, did they? But they also gave us some scrap and some fuel. Nice guys. Good guys. I like them. Okay, so let's see. Does anything need fixing? No, everything's good. Uh, Joe lost a bit of health, but... I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, a Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Send an away party to investigate. It could be a trap. Let's move on. Now, I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit loath to send a party down because I know that sometimes you don't get someone back. But if I just leave, then I don't get anything from it. So I'm going to try send away party in the hopes to get something out of it. Oh, okay. That's fine. We'll just have to kill them and take all their scrap instead. As you approach the signal, you receive a message on the Rebel channel. I knew we'd catch some Federation fish with this signal prepared to be boarded scum. That's just... Oh, dear. Okay, well... That... Yeah, okay. That was a bit unexpected. I didn't actually read that properly. Prepa prepared to be boarded. Fantastic. Okay. Let's focus on taking out their weapon system. Let's just get rid of that. Oh, actually, do they only have... Is that just one weapon? Okay, well, I'll Artemis the weapons then. And then I will do all their shields. But I'm going to have everyone oh. in there. Is that going to... There we go. Oh dear, they've got a... It's nice they have a drone up, which means it's a defense drone. So as soon as one of these goes off, I think the Artemis, it's going to take it down. That's not good. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, I still hit them. Perfect. Now let's just keep their weapons offline. And how are they doing? Oh, everyone's fine. Everything went better than expected. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. And now they are, <laughs> they're getting frantic, are they? Take everything we have, just don't kill us. Everything we have, 
3 fuel, 1 missile, and 11 scrap. Now that's not bad, but if that's everything they have, I'm going to get that anyway. And I only need one more hit off on them anyway to, to take them out. And I won't use an Artemis for it. And you're goners. See, that wasn't everything he had. I did lose out on some fuel, but I don't care. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Okay, let's get Joe back there. Izzy back to shields. Steph back to weapons. Okay, so that was good. Uh, now let's... I'm going to upgrade that. Uh, there we go. Now we've got another another shield and it's gone even darker. Fantastic. Okay, so we've still got plenty of time before they actually catch up, so I'll go here first. And then I'll head to the exit after this. Now you discover one of the rebels autom autonomous scouts, so it's an auto assault. Okay. The ship's AI wastes no time in engaging your ship. The sons of bitches. Okay. Okay, so they've got a combat drone up. I've got two shields now. I'm sure it's not going to be an issue. So I'm going to Artemis the weapons and laser burst the weapons. I just want to make sure that that stays offline. Not too bothered about the drone. It's not going to do that much to me. I repair my shields before it has time to actually get through. Okay. Oh, well done. Starting a little fire. Come on, Izzy. You can get rid of that. Let's get you in there as well, Steph. Oh. Oh, what's going on? There we go. Burst laser their shields. Kablamo. The ship explodes, leaving a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Again, fantastic. Two fuel, one missile, and 21 scrap. I will not say no. Thank you very much, and Steph, let's get you back over to weapons. Okay, now let's jump. We're going to head to the exit. You arrive at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. As soon as you arrive, a small mantis ship d detaches from a wreck and jumps away. You must have interrupted their salvage operation because you find a weapon ready to be installed. Well, isn't that is fantastic. Thank you very much, game, for honouring me with this whole smasher laser. Because it's a fantastic name. So let's see what this does. Uh, fires two shots that do one damage to rooms with a system or subsystem. And double damage to rooms without either. Ah, you see, I never knew that. Do they all do that? No, that one just one damage per room. Okay, so if there's nothing in a room, it will damage twice as much to the hole. So I'll definitely keep that at, ha at ready. Requires two power. Charge time, 14 seconds. Shots per charge, two. Damage per shot, one. So I can get two... So I hit get two damage out of each round because it fires two shots and if I do it to a room without any systems or subsystems it should do four damage I don't know we'll find out uh, breach damage breach chance is low but it's still there two times damage on subsystem rooms okay uh, systemless rooms well that's fantastic so am I gonna need Oh, I'm going to need to upgrade that as well. Well, I've got those ready. Uh, how much is it going to cost to upgrade the weapons? 35. And then 50. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. So there we go. That's this sector complete. The rebels got to there. Uh, next sector. Now, I'm either going to go with NG or Uncharted Nebula. And unfortunately, you guys, you're going to have to watch the next episode to find out which I choose. So thank you so much for watching. And I, so far, I am actually really enjoying this game. It's 
it's not a game I normally play. Like, well, it's the first time I played it, but it's not a game style I norm I normally play. So it was something new for me, and it's quite fun. So go check it out. I got it on Steam during the sale, so I got it much cheaper than I know a lot of you guys did. So sorry about that, but that's how it goes. So yes, next episode, NG Controlled Sector or Uncharted Nebula. So I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.